All right, in this video, we're going to cover some of the more advanced controls that the Redball Taskmod has to offer. So in the last video, we pretty much just went over save states, pause and unpause, frame advance and frame rewind, importing and exporting, and live playback. But in this video, we're going to cover its game speed, invincibility, um, RTGS or real-time game speed, backspace, soft resetting, escape, and all these other graphical related controls. So let's load a level here. Pause with T, restart with R. The first control we're going to learn is escape. And what escape does is it goes back 10 frames as opposed to just one. So let's make a save state. Let's say we want to go back to the beginning and we don't have a save state, or near the beginning and we don't have a save state. With shift plus space, like we used in the last video, we can only go back one frame at a time, and this would take quite a while. But with backspace, you can go back in much bigger chunks. Um, so this is very helpful for going back when you don't have a safe state so that you don't have to go back one frame at a time. Um, another control that's very handy is F for soft resetting. Soft resetting is basically just a fancy way to say respawning at a CP. So let's collect a CP here. So now it's going up, we've collected it. Let's make a save state. I saved it to save, save state one. And let's try and respawn at it with R. Doesn't work. So what you want to use instead is F. F respawns you at the last collected checkpoint. Um, this is used primarily for 100% tasks, but it's also used in level 13, for example. So if you're doing tasking in that category or on that level, this is gonna be very handy for you. Um, the next controls we're going to cover uh, have to do primarily primarily with spike glitch. So we just jumped in the spikes there, and that's because spike glitch is pre-activated and very consistent on this version of task mod. But one issue with it is that when respawning instantly, it does not work. So you'll notice I'm trying to respawn um, with instant playback, and it's not working. So what you want to do hit shift plus u and this turns on rtgs or real-time game speed and what this does is instead of playing back instantly it plays back at 64 times game speed which is very fast just about instant but it isn't instant so you notice when i try and load this you'll see a little flash and then i'm loaded um, so this is used to preserve spike glitch uh, through instant playback it just serves as an alternative to instant playback your other option, let's turn that off, is straight up invincibility. So that's toggled with G. And this means you can load instantly. I am loading instantly repeatedly, you just can't tell. And you'll maintain spike glitch no matter what because Red Ball is 100% invincible. So you'll notice with invincibility on, I can go and roll through the spikes, nothing's going to happen to me. Um, this is generally used only as an alternative if necessary because real-time game speed is not 100% consistent, maybe 95, 96%, but it's not 100% consistent. So use uh, real-time game speed when possible. If not, use G for invincibility. Some of the other controls that we're going to cover are the replay controls, is what I call them. Um, so this is comma period and escapes. So let's, let's make a quick task here, jump on the spikes and jump off the platform. So let's say we want to watch this in slow motion. So we hit U to enable real-time playback. And then what we can do is use comma to slow it down all the way down to one frame per second. If we want to speed it back up, we can use period right next to comma to speed it back up all the way to 16 times playback speed, um, which is faster than you should ever need, but you do have that option should you want to. Another option is escape. So escape breaks you out of the replay at that point in the replay for you to continue tasking. So I just hit escape and you get the text that says playback inputs dropped, um, which just means it broke you out of the replay. So I just broke out of that replay and now I can control red ball from that point in the task, which is very, very handy. Um, the other controls you're going to want to know are the like the visual controls. Um, so this is, for example, let's import a string real quick. 
let's say we want to clear this text up here to make a cleaner HUD. Um, you can hit C and it will clear that text for you right there. You can also use H to clear the entire HUD, so this gets rid of all the text on screen, and H to re-enable. You also have the option with Shift plus H to clear the graphical marks around Red Ball. So if we start playing again, you'll notice now it's just Red Ball. You can re-enable those with Shift plus H, and they pop back up, and you have the death warp marker and the contact points back on Red Ball. The very last controls that uh, might come in handy are plus and equals, and these are just used to replace the zoom in and zoom out functions that are built into Flash um, without, without needing to right click. So to use this, you just want to move your mouse to where you want to zoom in, and to zoom in you hit shift and then plus, and this zooms you in way further than you should ever need to. If you want to reset, you just let go of shift and hit that same button so it's equals and it will reset you back to the default zoom. Um, other than that, there's not much else you need to know for controls. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.